Hey, what's up, everyone? Look, last man here. I just want to do a follow-up video of the dashboard advertising video I did about nine months ago, where I put a peel and stick sticker up versus using the Lexan over the advertising sign. And the reason why I did that is I saw other rinks doing it. I thought it'd be a cheaper way to go. I thought I'd give it a shot. So basically, it it didn't turn out very well, <laughs> as you can see. So this sign right here. This Hagen sign, the peel and stick sticker, costs about 160 bucks. Where on this side over here, this sign costs 125, but it's about 375 for the Lexan that goes over it. Because you gotta buy a full sheet and cut it. There's not gonna sell you a partial sheet. So you gotta buy a four by eight sheet, cut it, drill it, countersink it, put screws up there, the whole nine yards. So I thought this would be the cheaper route, the more easier route to go. And uh, just kind of giving you my thoughts and opinions about how that went. And again, it didn't go very well. So as you see, the sign is faded, it's ripped. It didn't last very long. So I, I threw this back up in April. And I say by the summer, it was starting to fade. There wasn't any rips, but it was fading by the summer. And then when the fall hit, it started getting a little bit, you know. So here we are in uh, first week in February here. And it's not looking very good. And if the sign we're gonna to have to replace it and hopefully this contracts a year or two years so that's another thing to think about how long you're signing contracts for if you only have a year contract uh, maybe a peeling stick sticker may work for you but I just don't see it working very well for us I think I think it has its place in short-term applications at least my opinion again I wasn't formally trained in anything I have to kind of try things on trial and error and that's kind of point of doing these videos is kind of so we all can share and i had someone leave a comment brian saying that they used peel and stick stickers at their rink and they look like crap and again i would agree with it but i think short term these things would work well and get an nhl they, they throw them up every period or every game they change them short term even a, a couple months or if you have a tournament or something they would work but long term I think the Lexan over the advertising sign is the better way to go. Now, I would say that this peel and stick sticker maybe would have fared better if it was in the corner or on the other side of the rink where you don't get a lot of action, like here on the player benches where people are jumping over it. I think that's why a lot of these rips are happening and the rubbing and stuff where people are jumping over the player bench, getting their skates cut on it and stuff, and and that's expected and stuff. So this is a high visibility area, so you want you know signs on the player benches because that's where people are always looking so i think in these areas right here and for long term i think the lexan is the way to go and and even though they're expensive to replace and i've had a few bad lucks and when on a couple of sheets that didn't last very long but on the most part these sheets you can get three four five years out of these things but sometimes just a bad bounce of the puck that hits the right spot on one of these uh, seams or, or right where a screw head and you get a crack in it and stuff so and and uh, you could usually repair some of the cracks but some of them you just kind of have to replace the whole sheet eventually i guess so, and that's where it gets kind of pricey so i don't know I, and the one thing i also mentioned so I think it's worth noteworthy that these dark signs just don't look as good. You can see the moisture, and that's the only drawback of these Lexan. You can see the moisture and stuff through the glass, and you get these air kind of pockets that develop. And even though I have, a, I think, a tighter screw pattern, I kind of just matched a screw pattern, I think, years ago. I have this little thing written down on the back of a T-square. I kind of use the same drill pattern on all of them and stuff so but overall i think that even though they're expensive i guess the lesson learned that it's even though the lexan is more expensive i think long term it's the way to go if you're looking short term i think the peeling stick sticker certainly works and also if you do do the peeling stick sticker make sure you get something that's a little bit thicker i think this stuff wasn't as thick uh, i think there's a a way i I don't know. I think you just have to get the right person who knows how to make the sign. I mean, these pin and stick stickers you know, in, in high traffic areas, we use them on the soccer side, and they've seemed to work well. And, and over the long term, they've kind of faded and, and more ripped, and the kids kind of picking at them and stuff. But it, it's they seem to get a little bit more. That's why I think also why I guess maybe I should try to give it a shot over here because we've used the peel and stick stickers on the soccer side and they've lasted quite long. But you just don't have the same type of 
action over the player benches right here. And I'd say, also say that this material is kind of garbage. I don't know. It's not the strongest material in the world here. So I don't know. So um, I think the other stuff on the other set that we use is a little bit better material than this stuff right here. So anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions. Take it for what it is. All right, go ahead and comment below if you guys use the peeling stick stickers, if you guys use Lex sand overs at dash your board advertising sign and what kind of experiences you have with it. If you have better luck with the peeling stick stickers, go ahead and shoot that below too. I'd love to hear about that. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. Like the little class man says with dirty hand, stay cool.